you have any uh, video game stuff by chance? How long have you had it all? Oh gosh, well when did Nintendo or PlayStation 2 come out? All right, so there's a subdivision sale about 30 minutes away and there's about 35 houses participating. And I thought to myself, what better time than now to test out the likelihood of us finding video games when we are to ask for them at garage sales. Basically what I mean by this is I'm gonna go to every single sale and ask the seller if they have any video games lying around that they consider selling. And we are going to test out the likelihood of us actually getting some video game collections by us asking for them instead of just going there and looking for them. A big shout out to another YouTube channel called Chase After The Right Price. I'm pretty sure he did this video a little while back. It was one of the first videos that I saw on his channel. Today, we're gonna test the theory if going to garage sales and asking for video games produces good results. I'm gonna be buying a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff while I'm at these sales, as well as searching for some Scooby-Doo stuff for my girlfriend. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this challenge started. Good morning. Just this. Just that? Okay. Uh, One dollar. Do you want a bag? Sure. Are you selling any video games by chance? Um, video games? No. Do we have any that one on the other? There you go. What would be your best price on those uh, five Ls and Wonderland Funkos? Uh, that's probably it because it's about 160 bucks for that set, right as it is. Okay. So that's why I put it at 120. With that one alone, I think it's worth about 110. Would the other you, ones are 10 to 15. Would you consider a hundred dollar offer? Probably not today. Okay. Right, thank, thank you. you. Do you, do you have the remote with it by chance? Um, we couldn't find a remote, but then again, I didn't look hard. Okay. <laughs> Are you selling any video games by chance? Any video game stuff? I, what are you looking for? What kind are you looking for? Uh, I'll take a look at anything. Wii, PlayStation, Xbox. Uh, well, I've got, a, I've got some PlayStation 3 stuff and some Wii stuff, but my daughters kind of said they wanted it, so. Okay. Are you selling any video game stuff by chance? Like Wii? Uh, I don't think so. We what don't have any stuff? video game stuff. Oh, no. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm not much of a gamer, unfortunately. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good, how about you? Good. Are you selling any uh, video game stuff by chance? No. Like Wii or anything? No. No. Are you guys selling any uh, video game stuff by chance, like Wii? Uh, don't have any of that. Our kids, Our kids Our were kids first stage Mario Brothers. Right. <laughs> yeah. And that would be worth something, probably. <coughs> Not the five. Don't do it. Asking if she wants to ship today? Really? Yeah. 
Excuse me, are you guys selling any video games by chance? Like we? We are not. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good. Thank you. So. Good. Are you selling any video game stuff by chance? Like we? Uh. For PlayStation or Xbox? We might have them uh, tomorrow. My son is trying to get rid of all. all okay. Yeah. I'm only gonna unfortunately be here today, and I'm from Illinois. So, yeah. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. What kind of games did you have? Uh, mostly like... FIFA. Uh, like PlayStation or Xbox? Both. Okay. Was he selling the consoles too? No, no. Just the game? Just Some game? Yeah. I can ask him a piece of school right now. Okay. How much was your toy? Okay. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. Thank I appreciate you. it anyway. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Are you selling any video game stuff by chance? Like Wii? Any video games? Video games? I appreciate it. Thank you. That one is How much is your speaker? Do you know if it works? Yeah, we've tried everything. How much is your juicer? Are you selling any uh, video games by chance, like Wii? No, but you're the second person with that. Yeah, <laughs> they're they're popular. Yeah, no, for sure. I, you know, had like deep nostalgia. I went to Uncle John's Flea Market. Have you ever been there? I'm from Chicago, so. Oh gosh, yeah. you're looking for video games? Morning, morning. How you doing? All right. You selling any video games by chance, like Wii? Video games, no. No, no, that. no we got we got PlayStation 4. Yeah. Well, he's got PlayStation 4, I got PlayStation 2, but we're not selling any of the games. Okay. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good, how about yourself? Good are you selling any uh, video game stuff by chance, like Wii? No, my kid's not old enough yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're. Games and records, for. Okay. How you doing? Good. How about yourself? Good, thank you. Do you by chance have any video game stuff like we? No, everybody's been asking me that. They're like, you know, there's gonna be a lot of people asking for that. I said, oh, you know, my son's 33 years old. I haven't had a, a gaming system in my house for Long time. 20 years. Yeah. 15 years, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's looking for the video game. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Any uh, video games by chance, like Wii? No. I have those. No. What about Pokemon cards? No, no cards. Okay. A lot of girl stuff. Yeah, I appreciate it though. Oh, All right, so I've been to maybe a dozen sales now and I've asked a ton of people if they have video games with no luck. It's kind of demotivating. There's also people doing the same thing as me. They're walking around and asking every single sale if they have any video games lying around that they'd consider selling. So that is the reality of it. It's very hard to find video games, but you gotta be persistent, so let's keep going. Morning, how you doing? Good. Do you have any video games by chance? Only one I got right here. Okay. How much are your games? That one's three, that one's on a dollar and a dollar. That one is fresh. Oh, it's screen. Do you know if all the pieces are in here? Did you do five on the turtles? I'll do eight. All right, I'll probably just pick up the Pokemon. Got a YouTube channel? Yeah. 
Where does it go? Uh, Kreisky. K R E E S K Y. Okay. I noticed you have a lot of collectibles, so. Yeah, then my son do it. So okay. Do you, you resell on eBay or? A little bit. Uh, mostly he does uh, Instagram. B and D vendors is only selling it up there. Cool. Are you selling any video game stuff like Wii? Nope. No oh video game. Nope. Excuse me, how much are the gloves? A dollar. Okay, and would you do 50 on both of these bats? One's 50, one's 10. Sure. Cool, thanks. Hey. Sorry. All right, so what were you, so it's So I got these two 52? and then, yeah. Okay. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thank I am quickly cutting in to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. For everybody who already doesn't know, Timu is an online marketplace that offers competitively priced products such as electronics, home decor, car gadgets, and a lot more. They also offer free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. They have a massive electronics section with loads of great deals to choose from. As many of you may know, I use a GoPro for a majority of my videos, and I found a ton of affordable accessories for it. Like this USB-C charger for my GoPro batteries. Usually chargers like this are about triple the price, but Timu has them for just a fraction, and they work just as good as any other GoPro battery charger out there. I tend to travel a lot as well, and protect for my camera gear is always vital. Timu also has a plethora of camera bags that you can choose from for any type of camera that you may have. Check out the Timu app for yourself with the link in the description below and you can get up to $100 in cash coupons. Again, a big thanks to Timu for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the garage sales. If you guys want this and that, this is place them, you could have it. All of it. Okay. What's the price on this hat? Uh, two bucks. Are you selling any uh, video game stuff by chance? Like we? Don't. No. Somebody, somebody came asking, or somebody emailed me asking if I had any. Okay. Oh, I found it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You found this one? Yeah. So we actually found some GameCube stuff, which is not too common for garage sales. It's not anything good, but it's still something that I can lot with consoles and finding GameCube stuff at a garage sale, I have to pick it up. But she said that she had an Xbox 360, but unfortunately it's sold. So we were a little bit late on that, but let's keep hunting. Hmm. Are you selling any uh, video game stuff by chance? Like Wii? Uh, no, no Wii. Um, Xbox, PlayStation. Okay, no systems or anything? Though? No. Okay. No. Uh, Good morning. Are you selling any video game stuff by chance? Like we? I'm not. No. I think it is. Good morning. How are you? Good. How about yourself? Good. Good. Are you selling any video game stuff by chance? Like Wii or PlayStation? No. No. Are you selling any uh, video games by chance? Like Wii? No. Not, not, not like that. Okay. Are you selling any uh, video game stuff by chance? Like Wii or PlayStation or any? Quack. Gaming stuff. Well, we have this cute little angel here <laughs> that might make up for it. Yeah. I asked my daughter if we we're gonna sell our Wii, and she's no. like, "No, nope, I want to keep it." That's okay. Are you selling any uh, video game stuff like Wii by any chance, or PlayStation? No, it actually, surprised me because they don't put any uh, no. that out here. Any Pokemon cards? No. Do you have any video games by chance? 
That I don't. I have some, some weeks ago to sold them all. I bought all of them. Okay. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? Are you guys selling any video games by chance? No. Like Wii or anything like that? No. Any Pokemon cards? No. Trading cards? No. No. <laughs> All that thing's already got a bunch of Hot Wheels. Oh. Hello. Hi. Is he friendly? Yeah, he. He? What's his name? Wayland. Hi, Wayland. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. He's he's big. Yeah, he's a big boy. Hi, Waylon. How you doing? Anything you're looking for special? Uh, video games like I, Wii, I, PlayStation, Nintendo. I don't have any of those. Okay. My kids all grown up and took everything with them. <laughs> Usually how it goes. Are you selling any video game stuff by chance? Like Wii or PlayStation? Like gaming systems? No. Any of that? Would you do $10 on your coat? 15 Thank you. Do you have any uh, video game stuff by chance? Let me show you. I put it in the back here. How long have you had it all? Oh gosh. Well, when did Nintendo or PlayStation 2 come out? Probably 2000, around then. My then. son is 37 and it was his. Okay. So in middle school, high school. So there's all the stuff. There's two controllers in there and a box of games. Okay. Have you had any luck at your sales so far? Yeah, yeah, it's been good. It's not like overly busy, but good enough. Yeah, everything looks good. Okay. So 35 is good for you? Yeah, I'll do 35. Should be 35. Yep, there is. Okay. I appreciate it. You bet. Enjoy your day. You too. Thanks again. All right, so I just went to a sale and I asked the lady if she had any video games. She said that she doesn't, but her neighbor does. When she was over there, she saw a little bin of them in the corner and she said she was saving them, but she was gonna sell them tomorrow, I think. And she was asking $35 for the bin. So I went over to the neighbor's house and sure enough, there was a bin, there was a PS2, there was one Nintendo 64 game, it was Majora's Mask, and there was a bunch of PS2 games. I didn't really get a good look at all of them. I just wanted to buy the whole bin. And sure enough, it was $35. So I paid $35 for that bin plus the PlayStation 2. So I am super excited to look through the bin and I'm excited to see how much we got. About three hours later and a whole lot of no's, we managed to get one little lot of video games and we paid $35 for it. I didn't really look through the games, only briefly, and I'm not really too sure what to expect inside that lot, but I'm gonna put my odds on the screen. It's gonna be one out of how many ever knows I got, and that's my statistic for my challenge, and that's what I managed to accomplish today. With all that being said, let me show you guys everything that I bought. So everything that you guys see on this table, as well as the leather jacket, I paid $150 for, and I'm gonna go through each item, and I'm gonna show you guys some sold comps on them to see how much we can expect to make. I bought this Evolutions puzzle for $3, and the seller said that all of the pieces are inside. These new sell for about $45, but pre-owned, they're only going for about 10 or 15 bucks on eBay. So I'm probably just gonna list this up on Facebook Marketplace for 10 bucks. Here's some Harley Davidson stuff. This is like a little bag or a satchel. 
It's got a leather strap on it and some buttons. And then this is a vintage shirt from the Homewood, Illinois location, which apparently is shut down now. I don't know if that adds value to the collectability of these, but it's from 1992 and there's no sold comps on this and there's no sold comps on this. I'm gonna expect maybe around $20 for each of them. We paid $5 for both of these, so regardless of what we sell it for, we should be able to make a little bit of money on them, and Harley-Davidson stuff sells pretty quickly. At one sale, there was this whole bucket of baseball bats, and I picked these two out. This one she was asking $50, and this one she was asking $10. I managed to do a bundle deal on both, and I got them for $50 for the lot of them. And this one I looked up is going for around $80, $80, $90, and then this one right here is selling for about $40. I also got these two sets of gloves. I thought these were batting gloves at first, but now that I look at them, they look like soccer gloves. And I couldn't find too many sold comps on these. I think these were about 20 or 25 bucks, and I couldn't find any on these, but I'm expecting maybe 15 or 20 bucks. Here's some tech decks from early 2010, and I actually remember this piece. I think this is part of Hubba Hideout, and that was just a set that you can buy. It was a little skate park. And I got it for Christmas one year, and this, this piece looks really familiar. I think that's from Hubba Hideout. But there is a ton of tech decks. These are all newer, I think, around 2010. And I have no idea on the price of this lot, but I paid $10 for them, plus this controller right here. This is like a steering wheel controller for the Xbox 360. And then all of these two. I'm not sure what to ask. I'll probably ask around 25 to 30 bucks for the lot and they should sell pretty quickly. Here's our PlayStation 2. It comes with all of the cables and I'm pretty sure one of the cables is ripped. Some electrical tape on there. Yeah, this thing is in pretty bad condition. It's missing a joystick cover. It's incredibly sticky and dusty and I have no idea if this thing works. There is no game inside, I already checked. And yeah, I, I probably can get 60 or $70 for it if it ends up working. And that's probably on the higher end. Here's our Scooby-Doo stuff for my girlfriend. This is for Christmas. And this is a small little Daphne toy. Pretty cool. But here's some CDs. I don't ever buy CDs, but when I find an entire lot of the same band, that tends to sell pretty quickly. This is all ACDC stuff. I'm not a huge fan of ACDC. I like them, but not enough to buy 10 CDs of them. This whole lot of ACDC CDs, I can probably get close to $30 for if there's an ACDC fan out there looking for an entire catalog. And we also have this wrestling music CD. I thought it was cool, so I picked it up. And then we also have uh, Van Halen Live right here, right now. And I think this CD is going for about eight bucks and we paid $7 for the whole lot of them. So this paid for the entire lot already. This is a vintage helmet. I think it's a miner's hat or a construction hat. I'm not sure, but it's from MSA glass fiber and it is very, very old. I would say maybe the sixties. It's definitely cool. These usually sell well for me as well. I always tend to pick up lots of vintage welders helmets or construction helmets and hard hats and stuff like that. There's one that's similar to this that's sold for 50 on eBay. So I'll probably list this one at 40 or 50. I think we paid two bucks for this guy. And we also got this Sylvania VHS combo TV for 20. And I picked out two VHS tapes to test it. We got Batman and Robin, and then we got the Phantom. But this is definitely a good pickup. It has the remote. These are selling for about 130 bucks. And it's also pretty light, so it should be easy to ship. I always like to pick up these TV combos, especially when they're a good brand. And when I walked up to the sale, she told me 20 bucks. I could take this plus the whole entire box of VHS tapes, which I didn't end up picking because a lot of them were just junk. And I just ended up picking this one and these two. I knew I had to get it. So we paid uh, $20 for this entire setup and they sell for about 140 bucks. So yeah, should be easy to sell too. Here's our leather jacket. It's a deer wear brand, genuine deer skin, Midwestern sports togs in Berlin, Wisconsin, made in the USA. It's in really good condition. I couldn't find any sold comps on this exact jacket, but these deer wear jackets are going for in between 50 to about $150. 
and I have no idea what to price this one at. I'll probably price it on the lower end, under a hundred bucks, and I'm gonna see if it sells. Paid 10 bucks for this guy. Here's all the video games that we got. This is Racing Evolution for the GameCube and then Pac-Man Versus for the GameCube. We also got this entire tub of video games. Let's check out this tub of games right here, right off the bat. I know you guys see it. We got The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. It is a super clean copy. Random Nintendo 64 game inside this PlayStation 2 stuff. I'm not sure how much the non-holo one goes for, but I do not have that in my collection. I only have the holographic collector's edition variant. So I'm probably gonna keep this one so I can have both of them. But if I were to guess, this is probably around the same price as the collector's edition one, maybe $70. We got Madden 06, GTA Liberty City Stories, Rise of Kasai, Madden 07, GTA 3, The Godfather, Dark Alliance 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, we got Time Splitters, Madden 08, Metal Gear Solid, The Essential Collection. We got three games in that. We got Bully. NBA 06, The Life. I've never seen that game. And then we got GTA Vice City. For this Metal Gear Solid collection, I've never seen this either. We got Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, and then we got Metal Gear Solid 3, yeah, the whole collection. That's super cool. All right, so after totaling everything up, we have about $700 of retail value on all of our items that we accumulated at garage sales. Now, if we're gonna sell everything on eBay, we have to take out our fees and shipping, which is about $150 plus our $150 that we spent on everything, which is gonna leave us at an estimated profit of about $400. As always, it's only $400 if everything ends up selling, but I have a pretty good feeling that a lot of this stuff will sell within about three weeks. So there you have it guys. I guess asking for video games at garage sales does give you good results, but as always, it depends on your location and all of the competition around you. I live next to a populated city with a lot of competition, so maybe my odds are gonna be different than yours, but leave a comment and let me know if you guys have also experienced the same odds as me, or it's easier in your area or harder. That's gonna do it for today's video though. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.